Okay, so let's get started. I am working out of the back room. As you guys can see, my studio is not complete. Yeah. I moved my soap studio a couple times in the past year, so that's why everything is kind of like silly looking in the background. We're, I'm actually in the middle of con in construction, so to speak. We were working on this back room and we had to put a pause on it because now I had to move into it a little ahead of time. So that's why you're seeing kind of the incomplete window sill, but it's complete. Hopefully within the next month or so, it will be completely finished and looking great. But anyway, so I had put my soap inside the heat shrink. And what I like to do is actually put the... Let's see if I can get this to focus. I put the top of the soap on the side of the bag, if you see that. Because there's no heat seal seam right there because I want the tops to look nice and pretty in the bags and we're just gonna line it up there and sometimes it does take a couple times if it's if the impulse sealer has been sitting for a little bit a few minutes this bottom wire cools down so it takes a couple presses sometimes to get that to seal but then it'll come off like that. But sometimes you'll have the little tail that's still stuck on there. But that's fine because that's the part that's going to get cut off next. So I'm going to line it up again. And press. And there you have it. And once they're all done, I'm going to use a heat gun. And while they're still stacked, I'm going to heat, heat shrink them bunches at a time. So let's get this other soap wrapped up. Where's my bags? This brand of shrink wrap is actually really good. It seals pretty darn good, if you ask me. I've bought this before from Amazon. It's great because, you know, Amazon Prime, I can get it when I'm in a pinch. It typically comes the same day which is exciting. I bought myself a plastic rocking chair from one of the home improvement stores. And like, if I order later in the day and it's still the same day, I'll go out there and sit for an hour or so, enjoy the weather and watch my little girl ride her bicycle and wait for the uh, mailman to come and drop off my package or the UPS guy, whichever's gonna bring it that day. So, there you have it. It's just a quick little video just to show you. Uh, just a quick little video to show you how I heat shrink. It's just, it's just that quick. You don't have to have fancy schmancy equipment. Though, one of these days, hopefully I'll upgrade to all that. But for now, if you're a hobby, sober, if you're starting off like me, this little guy, this heat shrink guy, this impulse seal, is, I think it's good enough. I mean, I got um, 40 soaps wrapped within an hour. You know, just sit down, put your headphones in, watch a video on YouTube, <laughs> like my video, and just heat shrink away. All right, guys. I will see you later. Hey, guys. I wanted to do a quick review on the shrink wraps that I used earlier in the video. They turned out really, really well. They turned out really well. They held up. The seam held up really good. They shrunk down really well. I'm very, very pleased with them. They are super nice, super smooth. I used a regular heat gun. My boyfriend has like 10 of everything, especially heat guns. And I just used one of his. And it's like more, more, I guess, industrial kind. But anyways, it gets hot. So you have to practice with it, but they turned out really good. The tops look really nice. That's the most important thing. And that's what I was telling you about earlier. 
is to point the soap down to the side where there's no seam because you don't want that growing, going across the top of your pretty tops. But put that there. This is the brand that I use and I found it on Amazon. I absolutely love the company. Super quick shipping. The bags themselves come in this bag. This little cute zip bag. I actually have the other, I bought this before, once before, and it's great. I actually I kept the bag for other uses, you know me. I don't like to waste anything. But it's just, it's great. I absolutely love it. And this was a pack of 300 for just a couple of bucks. They are 6 by 6 and the, and my high top soaps fit in them really well. I still have to heat shrink these little dog ears down. Let's see. Let's find a good one. That still has a little. These little guys, I call them dog ears. You can easily just pat them down when when you're warming the plastic up, and they stay down. But the see, they fit them perfectly. I'm really happy with them. They're super strong. Let's see if we can get a good one big honking one there we go that's a good one turned out great they held up really well with the heat I didn't have any issues with getting holes in them with like a lot of heat shrink that you know you typically get a hole inside which is fine it happens I just you know people can smell the soap, soap easier through those holes not a big deal they I mean they're super smooth they're shiny the little tabs like you like I was showing you earlier the little tabs that stick up in the corners melted right down to, there's a little trick to that when you're heating it what I like to do is while I'm heating I have it the heat gun in my other hand I actually rotate the soap on its side like this to kind of pat down that little tab as I'm heating it up so it sits flat maybe I'll do a video soon about how I kind of how I take care of those corners now like this little guy back there I'm not gonna worry about that because that's my melt and pour soap and if I put too much heat in that little spot it'll melt that and we don't want that on on the inside of the package so there you have it there's my review I'm totally going to go and give it five stars I'm very happy with it go check it out for yourselves it's an amazing product all right guys see you later